All right, in the previous video, we looked at Istio. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with HashiCorp Console. Now HashiCorp Console is an incredibly popular service mesh solution by HashiCorp, of course. And because they have, you know, Terraform and they have Vault and they have Nomad and a ton of different other awesome tools, a lot of people are looking at console for their enterprise solution. So let's go ahead and do the same. We're going to dive in. We're going to install it. We're going to deploy it. We're going to get an application up and running. And we're going to see how it all works. Now it's all connected with that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. So we're at VS Code here and I'm just going to run a quick kubectl, get nodes. As we can see, we have one cluster up and running. So first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the HashiCorp repo and we're gonna be using Helm for this deployment. As you can see, I already have it, so I don't have to worry about that. Next, I'm gonna create a new namespace called console. All right, console is officially created. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to run the install for console. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy this upgrade path here. All right, as you can see, it's installing. So what it's doing is we're giving it a global name of console. We're gonna have one replica and the injector is going to be enabled. Now this is of course a little bit different than what we did for Istio. One thing that you'll notice for the service mesh is how the injectors work, how the sidecars work. It's always a little bit different. There's no, you know, just one plain vanilla way to do it for all of them. They all kind of have their own different deployment methods. Like Istio has its own CLI, for example, with console, we're relying on Helm. All right, so now let's go ahead and run kubectl get all namespace console. All right, and as you can see, everything is up and running here. Now that we know everything is up and running, we want to be able to hit the server itself, and it's over port 8500. So we're going to do kubectl port forward namespace console service slash console server over port 8500. Oops, sorry, I put service instead of server. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and head over to a web browser really quick. All right, and I'm gonna pop this in here. And as we can see, the UI is officially up and running. So console is connected, it is running. We don't have any applications running at the moment, but we can see our console service is running. Now let's go ahead and test out a deployment really quick. So I'm gonna head back over to VS Code and I'm just gonna use this sample emoji voting app. But what we're doing here is we're curling it and then we're putting in the needed annotation here, which is to inject the sidecar for HashiCorp console. We're going to specify our target port here, and then we're going to run kubectl apply on the YAML right here. So let's go ahead and copy that and we'll paste it in. All right, so now let's head over to console really quick. Up, and as we can see here, our three services that are in the emoji voting app are officially deployed and being monitored inside of our console service mesh.